So you want to sell some comics to a shop. It's time to thin out the, the, ho the hoard of back issues. Uh, what's the best way to do it? How do you get the most money? Uh, let's talk about that. Hey, this is Perch. Uh, this won't be the longest video. Uh, basically, you know, question asked, hey, you've got a collection. Uh, they're bag boarded. You've done all the right things. The books are in good shape. You want to sell them for a good price uh, at the comic shop. How do you do that? Well, um, un unfortunately, you know, this we're in a, uh, for lack of a better word, a down market. So uh, comic shops are not eager to buy your back issues. There's a lot of shops that have a, an abundance of, um, of material. And they're not necessarily looking to add to their inventory because they're not selling a lot of what they have. Uh, but you still can sell your books for a nice profit and, uh, and you know, thin out that, that library that you might have. So the, the best things to do, first of all, have a written inventory of what you have. Now, no comic shop in the world is just going to have you hand them a piece of paper with all your comics on it. Then look at that and say, well, I'll give you $100 for this. I mean, maybe, maybe, but... Unlikely. They're going to want to see the books. They're going to want to make sure you, you're not bringing in garbage. Um, they, but what? why that helps is that you can go into a shop without dragging the box in. Uh, most comic shops really despise uh, people who come in dragging a box of comics, you know, un, a sight unseen, never seen you before, uh, don't know what you're doing. And, and for whatever reason, people decide, you know, Wednesday around noon when all the people are coming in to buy their comics and it's a madhouse in the store, it's the best time to bring in your collection and want you know, a store owner to, to buy it. So the best thing you can do is go in on a day that is not Wednesday or Tuesday afternoon and have your list with you and say, you know, you're looking to sell some things. You have this list, give the shop owner a, a quick, you know, read of that list. Tell the shop owner up front, Hey, look, um, I am, I know I have to bring the issues in here, you know, so, but just trying to get a you know gut check of this, this run is something you're interested in. Don't try and get a price out of the guy. Just, just, you know, here's something, uh, here's the, here's what I'm basically going to come in and sell you and then get a time for when you can come back. Like, you know, Thursday, Friday, when's a good day. Monday is almost always a good day. Actually, uh, it's a, a more dead day. Uh, it looks at Thursday, Friday are usually better days. Try for a window like that. Ask the shop owner. Now, if you're selling your comics, and you want a good price. It's important that you have a good relationship with the shop owner. Uh, and by that, I mean, you know, you don't need to spend months or years building up a relationship. You can go in cold, but be polite, be gracious, understand that a lot of people who came in before you may have been maniacs and uh, kind of demanding. There are definitely people who come in and they're like, I've got this box. You're going to buy it. Give me a good price. And don't don't start off on that foot. Um, it There is a, a solid price to comics. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, having a good relationship with the shop owner being just polite and patient and humble with your books is absolutely going to get you a higher price. Maybe very small difference, but the shop owner who wants to deal with you is better than a shop owner who doesn't want to deal with you. Basically, if you're, if you're coming in with all the, the rarest issues that the shop owner absolutely needs, you know, you can be as big a jerk as you want. But long term, if you want to have a kind of buy sell relationship with the shop, go in, be nice, be polite about it. You, you know, you are still the person who's going to receive cash. So don't, you know, don't bend over, but go in and, and be professional about it. You are making a transaction. you you have goods, you know, think about how you want the shop owner to act to you. You're, you're buying things to the shop owner. You expect a certain amount of professionalism and the shop owner treating you with, with dignity and respect. So, you know, do it the other way, give the shop owner some patience and, and, uh, you know, let them know kind of what you're after. Uh, like I said, have that list that helps. Uh, don't exaggerate your comics. If it's mint, great. If it's near mint, great. If it's fair, great. Um, it's, you, don't go in and say, oh, I've got a mint run of these 10 issues and then walk in with comics that have like the page folded in half and, and torn. Don't just represent what you have honestly and, and accurately. That's important. Uh, that's how you're going to, again, build up trust. You're going to you know, gain confidence. If you've ever gone into a shop and the shop owner is like carefully inspecting each page of the comic and looking really closely over it before they'll you know, even talk to you, that's a shop owner who's been burned by somebody who's come in and represented one thing and then delivered another. 
So that that's important. The other thing that I like to say is as a seller, know what your titles are worth. And I say this for your protection as much as also building good relationships with the shop owner. Um, look up online. Try and figure out the value of what it is you're coming in to sell. Um, this will help because unfortunately, there are shop owners who will lowball you, who will take advantage of you not knowing kind of what it is you're selling. And they will, that you know, it's dishonorable behavior, but they will absolutely, there are definitely people who will do it. And if I, you know, in another video, maybe I've after, after I've had something to drink, I will tell you exactly the names of the different shops that have a bad reputation for doing, yeah, that's slander. I, sh- I won't, I won't do that. But uh, let's just say if you go online and you put disreputable comic shop or comic shops that have cheated me, um, you will, in the first page of, of Google, uh, you can get to some, some lists and, you know, don't take your comics there, but, but know what your comics are worth. And it's a reasonable conversation to say, Hey, you know, I looked this up online, said it was worth $20. Don't know what it's worth in your market. What do you think? The comic shop owner will one appreciate, you know, what you're talking about unless they're you know disreputable. Um, they will uh, appreciate you're coming in with, you know, some knowledge. Now your view of what the comic is worth may be wildly different from the market. You know, you sometimes, you know, the sometimes higher, sometimes lower. You do want to be careful not to go in and, and you know with a comic that is worth a hundred dollars in your market and say, I see this is worth ten dollars because the shop owner will go, Oh, I'll pay up to twenty for that, and then you know, happily pocket the change. Hopefully not again, but you know, uh, disreputable people are will disreputably disrepute. I don't know what that word is. Anyway, um, so know what your comics are worth. Have a value and sin, have value. But at the same time, tell the store owner, here's where I looked them up. I recognize and acknowledge the fact that uh, this this market may be different and just be ready for the market to be different. Also be ready for you know the fact that you got some information online to be wrong. So you can even ask the store owner, hey, where's a better place to kind of you know price these things out before I bring them in? Uh, talked about making an appointment, you know, getting a good time where the shop owner can really give you attention. Uh, this is all, uh, one of the reasons why that's important is if you rush a shop owner, if if you uh, Put the shop owner in a position where they are trying to quickly give you an offer. You will get a lower offer every time. The shop owner is going to to estimate down if they're in a hurry. And this that's not that's not disreputable behavior. That's kind of common sense. If you rush somebody, they're gonna they're gonna err on the side of caution, and that means less. And that there's nothing wrong with that. It just is back to life. So don't put the shop owner in that position. Give the shop owner, you know, the right time and the right, um, you know, moments to, to do it right for you. Um, last thing I'd say is if you're going to go in, it is always helpful to sell a run. So if, if you're going in and you have, you know, the complete, you know, uh, Avengers 1 through 30, uh, don't, don't go in. You will make more money if you have that. And if you go in with Avengers you know, like one through twenty-eight, missing twenty-nine and thirty, and in fact, this logic isn't as true today as it used to be. I, I would recommend that people go out and buy, even if they're going to sell the run, buy the missing issue or two in their run, and then immediately turn around and sell it as a complete run because they would make more money. That still is somewhat true, but not as true as it used to be. The availability of being able to get uh, stock online and other things has changed that rule up a bit. So those are my, that's my quick suggestion. Um, I, I'm sure there's more. What are your tips and tricks? You sold some comics in shops. What do you do to make sure you get a fair, good price and, uh, and value out of, out of, uh, out of the shops? Uh, leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and thanks for listening.